And we are visiting with the pride of Diamond Bar, California, Aztec wide receiver Colin Lockett joining us here in Extra Sports 1360. First of all, Colin, congratulations on the 2-0 start. How are you feeling uh, breaking into your new position as a wide receiver with San Diego State? You know, I'm feeling real good, real good. Just um, enjoying the opportunity to be able to help my team go out there and win and battle and compete with all these, uh, these teams that we have on our schedule. They're all very, very good and talented and just going out there ready to win. Talk about the experience of playing at Army. Just seeing uh, West Point and Mikey Stadium on television I thought was kind of a thrill. Uh, what was it like actually being there? I mean, there's just, just the whole atmosphere was just, it was, it was real, real hard filled. Just the fact that we were there for 9 11 weekend and the anniversary. And I mean, all the cadets and then a lot of the veterans came out and they honored a bunch of, a bunch of old, uh, war veterans and, you know, people that helped out, you know, 10 years ago. It was just an awesome experience. Probably one of the best plays I played ever in my life. Yeah, and then it was very nice of you, I thought, to welcome everybody to the game by catching a 68-yard <laughs> touchdown in the second play of the game. That must have been yeah. pretty sweet. <laughs> it, it, was, it was nice. You know, it was just the, the coverage just, was just very set up nice for the, for the play that we ran. And, and, you know, Ryan put the ball where it needed to be. And, you know, I just thanked the line that he protected Ryan and the running backs blocking. And I just, you know, did the rest for catching the ball and then putting the points on the board for my team. I always marvel at Ryan Lindley's long passes. Uh, what's it like for a receiver, the way he's able, able to just drop it in there, you know, 40, 50 yards down the field? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a real, real, real great opportunity just to know that all you have to do is basically just do your job, run the route, and, and just run, basically, and the ball's going to be in the palm of your hands. It's just amazing to know that you can, you know, have, have an opportunity to be able to catch his balls. Well, people don't realize, or for those who, for those who don't realize, Colin Lockett uh, came to San Diego State as a defensive back and actually got to play a little DB last year. And then uh, give us a story about uh, the off season uh, when Rocky Long or whoever it was approached you about changing over to wide receiver because it has really been your dream your entire life to follow in your brother's footsteps, Brett, who plays uh, defensive back for the New England Patriots now. You right. always wanted to play DB, so was it easy for them to convince you to change? And, you know, it was, it was, it was more so very easy, you know, cause, cause around here, we're all about the team. It's just team around here and that's it, no individualism. So, I mean, just the fact that I was, you know, growing up playing defensive back, trying to be a, a all, all pro, all, all the same corner in the NFL. And, and it was just, it was just an honor just to feel that they can, they can, they can use me on the offensive side of the ball and they, they recognize my talent to where I can go on the other side, help the team out immediately. And, I mean, it was just a crazy thing just for, for Coach Long to, to actually come up to me, you know, just in, in the off season and, and just really, really recognize that I can play wide receiver at this school and, and, and really help out this program. I mean, I mean, it was a very, 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 um, just re it was just a great experience for uh, him to be able to recognize my talent and, and recognize what I can do for this team. Well, now the way you're running patterns for the Aztecs and catching bombs and uh, you've already scored three touchdowns, two receiving, one on a kickoff return, do you think your brother could cover you right now? Oh, man, you know, he was at, <laughs> he was at the Army game uh, just, uh, uh, just for some support and stuff. Um, he, he, he might have a hard time. He might have a hard time, you know. He, he, he's just as fast as me. He's got the good footwork and whatnot. He's a little bit stronger than me right now, but, you know, I think I can give him a good run for his money. I think Bill Belichick might have to keep his eyes on, uh, on, his, on his safety up there just in case he might get beat by his little brother. What would you think of that Patriots-Dolphins game? I guess from your brother's perspective, it wasn't exactly a defensive clinic. Oh, man, you know, Tom Brady just – one of the best in the game, just doing what he does best. You know, they got they got that that ridiculous offensive line is just you know creating that 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 big pocket for him to be able to just let him sit back, read the defense, and deliver. It's just uh, it was just a football clinic out there. I was telling my buddies this morning, it was just really a football clinic, just showing that how how offensively uh, how how good the Patriots are and how how much they can do at any point in time. How, how were you always the fastest kid like in the neighborhood? I mean, or was that something that uh, kind of gradually came for you? Um, you know, it was, it was a, it was a, you know, it was a little thing that we used to, we used to play around with when I was in Pop Warner. They used to call me Rocket Locky. Um, it was just one of those things that, uh, my, actually my best friend's dad, who was my Pop Warner coach, he gave me that name very, very young and it just kind of stuck with me a little bit, you know, through Pop Warner and they kind of withered away a little bit in high school because I wasn't really running, you know, running routes like that. I was more on the defensive side, but, um, you know, I wasn't really the fastest guy, you know, it was a, it was more of a like, you know, um, three three or four guys, you know, will race and, and, and play on the playground and, you know, run routes against each other. So, I mean, I guess I was in the top three, but there were some guys who were, you know, hanging, hanging in the top with me. But, um, you know, it was just a couple other guys as well. 
Well, guess what? You've got the nickname again. Now that's all we're going to call you. Rocket Locket on the I show like with it. us. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Aztec team ready to face Washington State. Last time San Diego State beat a Pac-10 opponent was 1995 over Cal. Colin, what were you doing in 1995? Can you enlighten us? Um, 1995, <laughs> I think I was uh, sitting down watching, you know, I think I might have been watching Barney at that time. You know, I was a very, very little kid. <laughs> You know, maybe 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 running around on the on the preschool playground, you know, catching footballs in, you know, it was a while ago, but it's been a while since we actually uh had the opportunity to um to, to beat a pack ten a pack twelve now opponent. So, um, you know, we're just gonna go in there and make the best of it. I'm 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 excited for it. Well, best of luck on Saturday night. It's the uh, KGB uh, fireworks show, Sky Show, after the game. And uh, if there's any fireworks provided during the game, there's a good chance they will be provided by Rocket Lockett, Mr. Colin Lockett from San Diego State. We appreciate the time, man. Best of luck in the game on Saturday. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the time.